along with his persistent Alyssa, please meet Chelsea at center court. She's not one of those that wants to be, have all the light shown on her. All right, have fun, okay? Since good. seventh grade, she's played year round. Is that good day, child? My dad's my number one critic, but he's always been there for me. And my mom was always there taking pictures and making sure I uh, had a life outside of basketball. Okay. You miss her when she's at college because yeah. you won't see her every day. Yeah. How will you stay in touch with her? I'm texting. <laughs> On behalf of the Connecticut Association of Schools and Special Olympics Connecticut and the CIAC, we welcome you. Yeah, Dad. Good resting. I like his shoe. When we first found out, it was the hardest day and, and also the best day at the same time. You know, many doctors' visits over the years and just trying to find out what a diagnosis would be. The last step was basically get some IQ tests done and, and she had three of them. And they all basically came out ba right around the same. And they said, you know, she's going to be pretty much maxed out at uh, six or seven years old uh, intellectually. And it was difficult to, to hear that. The upside was we knew what, what to expect. Who's open? Griffin. Alyssa Domian is 21 years old and will graduate from Tallinn High School with her sister this spring. I have an older sister, but she doesn't drive or I have to stay home alone with her when my parents want to go out. And um, my older sister doesn't give me advice like when I was growing up, but I appreciate who she is and she has taught me so much with patience and acceptance and loyalty. Alyssa, make a layup, a layup. You can do that. As she's gotten older, it's just, she's just brought so much joy to our family and so many people around her. Man, she does not like to use the backboard. <laughs> All my sister wants is for me to be proud of her, like she, she I know is proud of me, so I, cheer as loud as I can and teach her as much as I can and uh, just make her happy when it's her time to shine. Chelsea's talent caught the eye of Division I programs, including the University of Delaware, the alma mater of Elena Deladon, who after spending just a few days at UConn, famously returned home to play at Delaware and be closer to her special needs sister, Lizzie. I was very happy to see that I'm not the only one that um, feels this way about my sister. And she um, uses her sister as a rock for her when she's playing. Chelsea decided to pass on Division I, accepting a scholarship instead from Division II Assumption College located in Worcester. Thank you. Before my wife and I got married, well, even after that, she, she would always say, you know, you don't have a heart. Uh, I can watch a movie, it doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, you put, you know, anything to do with my daughters and it becomes emotional. 